I mean, I love to think about Election Day, how I get my little sticker, but I feel like we can't even talk about that because we just can't cool down in the tropics. Yeah, Miranda, things took a turn in the last 24 hours, so let's break it down. We're going to start with a basin overview here. We have Milton, of course, that formed today, our main priority, but then we also have Kirk that has weakened to a Category 3, still a major storm. Leslie, currently a Category 1. These two storms are set to move to the north and the east. And then we have this tropical wave here, 30% chance of development over the next week. But well, let's dive into it. The topic that we do not want to talk about, but we have to. Here we go. Tropical storm Milton. So Milton did form earlier today, rapidly intensified, and we are looking to that trend as we move into the next few days as well. It's going to be a hurricane likely by Monday. Could even be a hurricane earlier than that, Sunday night perhaps. But let's get into the cone. Remember, the cone is going to trim and be changed just slightly. One thing that you notice here is how wide it is, taking up really the entire peninsula at this time. Once we get the storm a little bit closer to us, you will start to see that cone become more narrow. But at this time, we are looking at the potential for Hurricane Milton to become a major hurricane, Category 3 or stronger, ahead of making landfall with the timeline being around Wednesday. And yes, it looks like it's uh, making a run right for the west coast of Florida. Now, unlike Helene, Milton is coming in from this direction. Helene, if you remember, kind of rode up along the coast, went from south to north. This is coming in from our west coast and moving out to the east coast there. And the problem with that is, depending where it makes landfall, which again, there's some uncertainty there, uh, we could have the impacts, we will feel the impacts south of that. So it's really important to pinpoint where this wants to make landfall because then we have to look at the areas around that center and south of that for the main impacts. And something different here, our inland locations will also be feeling the effects. There's another thing going on here that's pretty interesting. We have a cold front that's digging into the area and that is going to continue to push Milton east and could even shift it to the south just a little bit. Now, if you're wondering about wind shear that's coming with that front, we do have it, but so far it hasn't worked out in our favor. Remember, higher wind shear uh, kind of tears these storms apart, these tropical storms, and they can't hold their structure. But that hasn't been the case so far. All the blue that you see here, that would be some stronger winds, which would work out to weaken this system. And that could happen, uh, but right now it looks like this system is still on its way to turn into a major Category 3 storm. Now, as it makes landfall. It could be a high end category two, but no matter how you slice it, we are looking at impacts through our area uh, in different zones than what we had for Helene mainly being our inland locations now feeling the effects of the winds that we're talking about. Here's a wind timeline where we could start feeling those effects of the tropical storm force winds. This is uh, where around Wednesday at 8 a.m. Earlier models had a little bit closer to Tuesday night, so that's something we will look over as well. As far as the probability of that happening, where we could have those tropical storm force winds, that's been bumped up to about 70 percent for our area. So yeah, it looks like we will have some impacts in that category. And of course, with those winds comes the storm surge. So these are all things that are developing and you have to stay with us as we get those storm surge number numbers. We'll likely have those come out tomorrow. As far as moisture goes, yes, we do have initial moisture on the way for tomorrow, and that's going to produce a lot of rain over certain areas with any downpour that we receive and that's not helping the situation at all. That's why we have a weather impact alert starting for uh, tomorrow going into Monday, but especially these four days here when we are looking at Milton to get closer to landfall. That's when we really have to make sure all those hurricane plans are put in place. Start planning now and we're going to walk through this with you. Miranda.